Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to learn that how we can create a depreciation or asset schedule in Microsoft Excel. In this video, we will calculate depreciation on initially purchased asset, and for the subsequent period, we will use the written down value to calculate depreciation. Also, we will see how we can using the accumulated depreciation opening balance and the ending balance so let's start with the beginning and i'll show you the concepts of actual cost of asset depreciation rate accumulated depreciation and the salvage value so first of all we need to open our excel sheet and we need to define that how many columns do we need to use to create our depreciation schedule so first of all we need to know the serial number how many assets we are having in our asset schedule next particulars next here date of purchase actual cost of the asset here we will be having written down value or uh, as on January 1 2021 here we need to add salvage value so we will know that when the value will reach to this amount we need to stop taking depreciation because the salvage value is the ending value after completing the depreciation okay the next written down value as on 1st january 2021 after that we need to add addition during the year if there is any addition in the asset deletion during the year next will be current value of the asset next depreciation rate in percentage here depreciation during the year purchase asset and here depreciation of current value here we will be having accumulated sorry total depreciation for example during the depreciation and the current depreciation so total depreciation here accumulated depreciation as on this is opening balance accumulated depreciation as on 31st january and here written down value as on 31st january 2021 so let me reformat it and here we can put the heading like depreciation schedule as on 31st january 2021 this is the one month depreciation we are going to calculate here we can put your company name let me format this i have formatted this and here we need to add our assets like vehicles furniture machinery suppose these three assets we purchase on january 1 2021 actual cost of the asset 50000 40000 and here we can see 100000 okay the salvage value the salvage value is the remaining value of an asset after the depreciation deduction for all the periods so the salvage value we can keep here 10000 5000 and here we can keep 20000 
the return return down value for this we don't have because we just purchased on January 1 2021 and we are going to prepare the depreciation for one month for this asset so this is we don't have here the return down value addition during the year we don't have so zero deletion also we don't have zero current value of the asset will be return down value plus addition during the year minus deletion during the year so here we can use the return down, down value will be this value because this is the beginning minus the salvage value so the return down value here so the current value of the asset we need to change a little bit formula here we need to add this the current value of the asset is this because this is the beginning this is the reason we are using this so depreciation rate for all of them will be 25 percent we can use depreciation during the year we don't have so if there will be any depreciation during the year we can calculate it this column multiply by this value depreciation for the current value this value multiply by this value okay so total depreciation will be this value plus this value cumulative depreciation because this is the beginning so opening balance we don't have but accumulated depreciation we have here this total depreciation plus this value so here return down value as on actual cost minus accumulated depreciation will be the return down value here this is for the one year depreciation now we are going to see one month depreciation here is the depreciation so we need to calculate here divide it by 12 and multiply by 1 so this is the one month depreciation for all this is the one month depreciation now let's copy this and we will make a depreciation for 28 February 2021 so the return down value here will be 1 February here 1 February and here 28 February okay so okay here 28 February okay now we need to take these return down values these return down values we need to copy from the previous period and we need to paste here okay now we need to change this formula because the current value of the asset is this one so we need to calculate this we need to delete this salvage value from here and we can keep our current value of the asset is this okay now we don't have any addition during the year or deletion during the year so the current value will be the same salvage value will be the same actual cost will be the same only the change happens here return down value because this is the closing balance of january and opening balance for the february so here we have depreciation rate same so the current depreciation for one month for the february will be this one okay the same and total depreciation will be the same now opening accumulated depreciation was this one because this was the ending copy and we will paste here now accumulated depreciation current depreciation this depreciation and this accumulated depreciation opening balance will be the total depreciation for two months this is the two month depreciation now return down value will be the actual cost minus accumulated depreciation will be written down value now guys let me explain you that if there is an addition during the year here we will copy this suppose we were using vehicles and there was an addition during the year like 
50,000 more. Okay, so here you can see I have already calculated here the depreciation for one year. This is the for the whole year. So if it was we are going to calculate this for 31st March 2021. Okay, so this addition happened in the first of March. So we need to calculate one month depreciation on it. divided by 12 multiply by 1 okay so this 50,000 also having 1041.67 depreciation now here as you can see the current value asset has increased due to this during the year addition so here during the year addition depreciation plus the current depreciation for the March so total depreciation becomes this 2083 we need to copy these written down values here as I didn't done that here okay now we need to copy this accumulated depreciation so the opening balance for the March here the ending balance for March okay here opening balance for March so we have already changed here so now the accumulated depreciation this total depreciation plus this depreciation so the accumulated depreciation and written down value here for the asset will be this actual cost minus accumulated depreciation so you need to add here plus this value so now the return down value is 95,833.33. So the actual cost will increase when we will make the schedule for the fourth month. Fourth month. So here the actual cost will increase plus 50,000 during the year we will delete from here because we have a return down value here we will change this return down value to here. Here salvage value we need to change because there are two cars now. So 50,000, 50,000 so here will be 20,000 salvage value. So this is the concept that how you can calculate the depreciation during the year first month for the second month the same way you will use for the yearly depreciation. So this is what I have for today guys for you. I hope you like today's video. Please subscribe my channel so it keeps motivated me to create more videos for you. Thank you very much and goodbye.